nervous because we are freaking awesome, you guys, and we always do it. And I'm super, super excited to have you guys here tonight. I'm really excited that all of us came together. Oh, Kennedy, come on, what are you doing? I'm really excited that all of us came together, you guys, to meet, to be here and to make this happen. Um, you need to go get ready for bed and brush your teeth, please, okay? Please. Thank you. Um, we are amazing, you guys, and that's all you need to know is that we are amazing. We come together and we make amazing, amazing things happen. We are freaking awesome, and um, I'm so excited, you guys, for this Zoom tonight because we've got someone who's going to speak to us tonight who has literally been, she's one of the most consistent people in her business, you guys. Like, she is so consistent. She is so just, like, powerful. She inspires me to my core. She's been through so much, you guys. Like, she's been through so, 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 so much, but she still stays with it. She, she never like stopped showing up. She does 10 parties a week. You guys, she's done 10 parties a week since she started. And she said to me, I messaged her today and I was like, Hey, like you are killing it. Cause she's sponsoring person after person, after person, after person, you guys. And so I asked her, I was like, well, you're slaying like, and she's always sponsoring you guys. She's always doing the thing. She's always showing up. She's always consistent. She is. And she's just so humble. Like she's so humble and she's very coachable. And that's exactly what you have to be in order to have success. You guys, you've got to be humble and you've got to be coachable. Okay. You've got to be open, humble, and coachable. Like that's really it. You know, like if you need help, if you need advice, ask someone, you know, like we're all here to help each other and we're all here to lift each other up. And that's why we're here to, and we've got to work together to make these things happen. You guys, we've got to lock arms and we've got to do this together. Okay. And so she is so humble and she's always asking me for advice, always asking me for help. Kennedy, please stop kiddo. Please get your face off of the door. Thank you. Please don't do that. And please get off of your hoverboard kiddo. I've asked you too many times, please stop. Oh my gosh, she's not listening to me today. <laughs> um, but anyways, she's awesome. She's sponsored so many people today. Do your kids have a hoverboard and do they ever get off of it? Like, I would really love to know in the chat. Can you guys let me know? Because she doesn't walk anymore. Like, it, it, she just doesn't walk. She doesn't use her legs. She's like a robot. I don't get it. <laughs> um, but anyways, you guys, um, Jennifer O'Neill is the person that I'm talking about. She literally is so freaking amazing, you guys. Like, she just doesn't stop. She just doesn't stop. She's beast mode. She's doing this for her family. She's doing this for herself and she just doesn't stop you guys. So she has sponsored. She's always in my leaderboards for sponsoring people every single month. And she has sponsored. I don't even know how many she'll be able to tell you when she comes on, but she's going to fire us up today. You guys, she came to me and she said, she was like, okay, I'm going to talk to people about like doing parties and what I do and everything. I said, no, 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 sister. I said, they know what to do. I said, these people know what to do. They know what they need to do. I was like, you need to teach them how you stay motivated to do this stuff every day. Okay. Because truth be told, you guys, the hardest part about this business is waking up motivated every single day. And Jennifer O'Neill is someone who honestly is just so motivated every single day. And I would love to hear from, and I'm excited to hear from her to hear what she does every day. 140 people, baby. Um, she is going to teach us, you guys, how she stays motivated, what she does every single day to stay with this. Cause she's been doing this for a while, you guys, but she just doesn't stop. She's been green status or not. I think she's orange status. I don't know what step. I think she's orange status. Um, she can let us know all that stuff, all the details, but she literally, you guys has been like her status for a long time. And she doesn't stop and say like, I'm not, I haven't moved forward. Like I haven't, I haven't hit the next level. She just keeps going and she knows that she's got to keep going. And she's so eager to keep learning how to build leaders. And, and, you know, we're reading a book together, her and I, and like, we're doing so much stuff together, you guys. And she's going to be black status. She's going to be black status. She's going to be on the wall of influence. You guys, she's going to be one of the top income earners of this entire company. And she's going to change her life and her family's life forever and ever and ever watch her. Like, I'm not kidding. You guys keep an eye on her because she's going to crush it. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to unmute her and I'm going to give her the the floor. She's going to fire us up and take us to church. So take it away, sister. Hey, you guys. Thank you, Amanda, for that awesome inter intro. Um, <laughs> hopefully I can live up to this. Here we go. Um, so my name is Jennifer O'Neill. I am a green status elite presenter with Unique. Um, I will be doing this um, in April. It'll be three years for me. Um, and you guys, I do, Amanda's right, like I wake up every single morning at the butt crack of dawn with a fire burning in my belly because I don't know who I'm going to help today. I don't know who I'm going to meet today. I don't know who I'm going to talk to today. I don't know, you know, if I'm going to be able to get these products in a new customer's hand, you know, and help somebody new, help somebody. And 
you know, I don't know who I'm going to sponsor today. I don't know who I'm going to change, you know, their lives just by offering this amazing gift within this opportunity. Um, you guys, cause I know what it's done for me. I know what it can do and I just don't stop talking about it. Okay. Because I know we always hear this and we always hear this, like it changes lives. Right. And it has literally changed my life in so many more ways than one. Um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that, but staying consistent, just a little bit on staying consistent. Um, it's super important to stay consistent because people see that, you know, you can't let people forget about you, you know, cause the social media platform that we are, that we have this amazing gift from Mark Zuckerberg, um, is amazing and you know people everybody's on it they're flying by and you you've got to stay consistent you've got your your face is your billboard and you have to always have it up there for your people to see for your following to see so they don't forget about you because it is easy life is life gets busy you know we we all have our separate lives we all get busy and so it's very very important to stay consistent um but um you know, like when I wake up in the morning, I jump out of bed excited for the day and I post my inspirational quote, right? That's what I normally do is I'll post something and, in, in, you know, something that hit me from a book I was reading or, um, you know, cause I feel like, oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like I used to be so alone, so afraid, so scared, so insecure. I know how it feels to like just absolutely have nothing in this world and nothing to, you know, hold on to or say, you know, like, gosh, this is my rock or, you know, anything. Like, I've been there. I know how hard it is. And, and for you to be that bright, shining star in somebody else's life, like, that is so important, um, you know, to, to, to be there for that person. And that's really important. It's like so important to like get into personal development and learn as much as you can and grow as much as you can. Because if your cup is not empty, or I mean, if your cup is not full, how are you going to be able to, you know, fill somebody else's cup up? So like I spent... I spent like 20 years with nothing, nothing in my life. Like I screwed up a lot of opportunities. Um, I, you know, was to graduate my senior year semester at Christmas and I was going to go to college and I had all these college credits accumulated. Um, but I got pregnant my junior year. And so I dropped out of high school and then I studied really hard to get my GED and um i passed it but i was 50 points shy of a full-blown scholarship to any college in the state of missouri and so that was like my last shot in my mind that was my last shot um <clears throat> and so like i was really depressed like i screwed my whole life up i just completely obliterated my entire dreams and <clears throat> i screwed it up and i thought there was no coming back from that and so I had made my bed and now I had made a pet, like I was almost, I had came to, <clears throat> you know, just being okay with not having anything and that this was my life. And I, I was going to work these dead end jobs for the rest of my life and retire with nothing, you know, serving tables or fast food or anything. And I was, <clears throat> I came to like, I was okay with that. Like, this was, there was nothing I could do about it. So why complain? And then this opportunity came to me. Like, I, I mean, like I found unique, like it found me, it found me. Okay. And, and I was skeptical at first, right? I was skeptical and cause I, I've always been that way, but, um, I saw a number and Amanda actually posted a number very similar to this um, just recently in Lash Out Loud, but I saw a number um, just scrolling through my page or through my Facebook and I stopped dead in the tracks on this number and I read what this description of this post was. And this was a monthly paycheck that I was looking at. 
and I couldn't believe my eyes, what I was seeing. And I said, okay, like, I've got to give this a shot. You know, I've got to give this, this is like, like that Eminem song, the, the only opportunity that you've got, are you going to blow it or not? You know, like, and I said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. And I made a commitment with myself. And I said, I'm going to do this for me. I'm going to do this for my family. I'm going to give it all I got. I'm going to dive into that training document. I'm going to do what it says exactly to the T and things started happening. Things started working. And I was like, Oh my God, maybe this does work. And so the rest is basically history, right? I've just been doing the same things. I, I mean, it's all, it's unique. Okay, with this business, you guys, I'm getting excited here because I'm kind of getting into my mode here, but I do the same things every day, but differently. So it doesn't seem like it's the same thing, but that's all this business is. And all you have to do is keep up with that and keep, keep going with that. Um, but because I had nothing for so long before I had an opportunity to gain my life back, to have purpose again, to live the life that I wanted to live in the first place, you guys, I, I just, I've been doing what the training document says and staying consistent. And I'm, I know I'm losing track here, <laughs> but um, I actually, I have something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, that I first wrote down when I first started. Um, and I remember Amanda telling me, like, it's so very, and I'm telling you right now from, from my experience and my point of view that it's so important to find a reason why you are doing this, like why you clicked that join button and why you need this in your life. Like there was something telling you why you, why you needed this. Okay. Whether it been, you know, just something missing in your life that you needed that. And, and it's so important to find out what that is and never let go of it. And now your why is always going to change, right? It's, it's going to be changing throughout your journey, but I wanted to share what I wrote down nearly three years ago. Um, and it says my why, um, it says to have something to call my very own and to prove to myself that I can accomplish big things. I want to be self-sufficient and to be able to take care of my family on my own because I was on a lot of government assistance, you guys like everything. I wanted to get off any government assistance and I wanted to help, I want to help other women do the same. And I want to someday stand up and tell my story and inspire so many others to do the same. Okay, because I know how it feels to be lost and broken and have nothing. I, I've been in abusive relationships. I've seen the darkest days, but I know that there was always those brighter days. And Unique has done that for me. And it can only get better from here. And you just have to find that vision, find that why. Because if you don't have a vision for why you're doing this or what you want to accomplish, then, because that is going to take you. That is going to, that's going to be your sailboat that takes you where you want to go. Um, <clears throat> like, the voice, you like, okay, hang on. I'm like losing my mind here. <laughs> um, so you, this platform, like Facebook, this platform, this vision that you have, you can inspire other people with it <clears throat> and you can have a voice to be heard. Like I didn't have a voice to be, to be heard. Like I had a voice, but nobody was listening. Like nobody would listen. Right. So I'm always constantly educating myself and trying to add that that what I'm learning and, and, and that value and that education, um, to my following. Um, <clears throat> so find your passion, find your why. Um, and can we just do this little exercise real quick? I just want to do this, this with you guys, because I think doing this, I know has helped me so much. And 
Are you guys up for it? <laughs> Can we get some thumbs up? <laughs> it's just, um, I, okay, so I want you to close your eyes, okay? I want you to close your eyes and I want you to vision yourself hitting this huge goal you have, whether it be, you know, pink status, green status, black status, whatever it is, this, this goal that you have, I want you to close your eyes and envision when you hit it, okay? I want you to envision what your hair is gonna look like, who is gonna be with you, what clothes are you wearing, okay? What time of day is it? What day of the week is it? Is it sunny outside? Is it dark outside? Is there snow on the ground? You know, um, is your family with you? Is your dog barking up and down because you're freaking going crazy, hysterical up, you know, like just down to the day, down to the T. I want you to envision that moment and keep what you're seeing with you at all times you guys that is going to be your sailboat that is going to get you there to that goal because when you think about things you start to believe them what you think about comes about and what you focus on expands and me of all people i am i'm i've figured it out i feel like i figured that out you know and it's an amazing feeling and sometimes hard to explain, especially to other people who are still kind of not there like I used to be, like I would used to be the most negative person ever. But that law of attraction, just knowing that vision and knowing what you want, the biggest problem people have is when they say, when they get asked, what do you want, is that they don't know what they want. You know, that's the biggest issue that, that people have is that they don't really know what they want. So if you don't know what you want, nothing is ever going to happen. And you have to know what you want, you guys. And it's so important to practice that vision and know your why. And that's going to keep you consistent in your business. That is what's going to drive you out of bed in the morning. That is what's going to put that fire in your belly. You're going to want to go meet new people. You're going to want to go talk to new people. You're going to want to go offer this opportunity to as many people as you possibly can because you're starting to see things happen within your life and within your business. And you're going to be able to share that with other people who might have been in the same boat as you and didn't, didn't think they had a way out or didn't think they ever had a chance in hell to ever do anything with their life again. You can bring passion back into their lives. When they, when they feel lost and abandoned and alone and broken and, and abused and you want to share that with them because once you do, that is the most amazing feeling that you will ever have. And when you see that person's, that other person's life start to change before your eyes, that is what it's all about right there. Feeling that and then being able to share that actual feeling that you can't even fathom or recognize or explain with somebody else. And that is what wakes me up in the morning. And that's, what's get me, that's what gets me out of bed. And I know as long as I stay consistent, as long as I keep doing what it says to do in the training, I will get there. And I'll be able to share this with more and more people as long as I just don't give up and I don't stop. Because there's going to be a time when you feel like giving up. Um, but when you, when you have that feeling, you're on the verge of a breakthrough. And as long as you keep going, you're going you're gonna to smash through that wall. Okay? Um, and I think that's really all I have. <laughs> I hope you guys got something out of that. And... Um, I just wanted to share that passion with you, um, and that fire that I had within, um, and I hope you can share it with some other people too. Thanks girl. That was amazing. Like, I was just like the whole time I'm like, yes, yes, yes. 
That seriously though, like I want to ask you guys a question really quickly. Um, how many of you guys, if you guys can let me know in the chat, how many of you guys connected with, with Jennifer as she was talking and like sort of telling her story. And it really like, I, I, I know for me personally, like when she was telling her story, it really just drew me in. It draws me in because it's like, I was that person too. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like it reminds me of, of why I'm here. And it reminds me of why I'm doing this. And it reminds me of where I'm going. And it reminds me of why I need to show up every day because I was connecting with Jennifer as she told her story. And so I want you guys to just really, I want you to recognize that for a second, recognize that you connected with her as she told your story or as she told her story, because it's also a lot of our stories as well. And so I think that the most important thing for us to remember you guys is that like, hearing her tell her story and hearing her say, this is what gets me out of bed every single day. This is what motivates me. This is what keeps me going. This is what has kept me going for three years is that person that she used to be and where she wants to go. You guys, we've got to tell that story. We've got to tell our story. We've got to share our story. We've got to let people know who we were and who we are now. We've got to let people know every day who we were, where we are now, where we want to go, why we won't stop, why this is so important to us, why we're not shutting up, why we show up every day, why we're in their newsfeed every day. Somebody in one of my chats today posted a screenshot of, of one of their friends who was like talking crap about stop trying to sell me stuff on Facebook. And I said to her, like, girlfriend, please remove this because it's going to make other people hesitate and nervous. Okay. But the thing is you guys, um, it's going to scare people and it's also going to plant a negative seed in their mind. But, but, but the thing you have to remember is this, you guys, like those people, they don't get it and it's not for them. And that's okay. Stuff like that is what motivates me and keeps me going. Are those people that say those negative things, those people that have nothing nice to say about what we're doing or about anything that we're doing, or the people that just try to like bring you down or whatever, because they see you trying to do something amazing here. You know what I mean? And those are the people you guys that you've got to show up for. Those are the people that you do not stop for you guys. Those are the people that you show up every day and you pour your heart out to and you say, you know what? This is why I'm here. And this is why I show up every day. This is why I will never stop. This is why you guys see me in your newsfeed every day. This is why I post in my story all day long. This is why I go live and I do my makeup on Facebook. I'm terrified to do this. I'm terrified to go live. I'm terrified to post in my story mode every day. I'm terrified to post on, on social media every day because of people, you know, saying negative things or because I'm scared of what people are going to think. But this is why I, I don't allow that to stop me. This is why I don't allow that to stop me. And then you tell them why you tell people your story. You guys, that is what a month like January is all about. You guys, when we've got a new kit and we've got all this new stuff happening, you guys, that is what a month like this is all about. Telling our story and connecting with new people, building new relationships, meeting new people, talking to new people, you guys, and sharing our story with new people. How many of you guys have shared your story in the past three months? Say me in the comments. If you shared your story in the past three months, how many of you guys have shared your story in the past two weeks? You know what I mean? I used to tell my story, you guys, like, and this is so sad that I'm saying even used to, you know what I mean? But like, I used to tell my story, you guys, like every couple of weeks. Sometimes I would tell my story every week. Sometimes I would tell, I would tell my story every few days. It depended on what my goal was for sponsoring. How many people's lives do I want to change this month? How many people's lives do I want to touch this month? How many people's lives do I want to connect with this month? How many, how many people do I want to help trust me more today? Because that's what it does, you guys. When you tell your story, how many of you guys connect with me because you know my story? You guys know where I came from because I've told you some sort of you know, aspect of my life. You guys know me. You guys know me. You know my heart. You guys know my soul. You guys know where I come from. You guys know where I want to go. You know my purpose. You guys know my vision. And that's why you trust me because you know, my heart I've shared you, I've shared with you guys, the inner workings of my heart. I've, I've literally opened myself up raw and real and, and crazy with every, with strangers on my, on my Facebook page, terrifying, terrifying. But that is why people trust me. That's why people trust me. That's why they love me. And that's why I, I have had success, you guys, because I was able to build that trusting relationship with complete strangers because I share my heart every day, just like Jennifer shared her heart with us. Sorry if you guys can hear the baby screaming. Um, they're trying to putting them to bed right now. Um, but anyways, you guys, it's just so freaking important to do those things and to share our heart often, you guys. It is so extremely important to do that. And Jennifer just reminded us of all of that, you guys. Like she, she just taught us what gets her out of bed every day. And so what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to recommend for you guys um, a book. 
and it's by Simon Sinek. And I know that in my, I did a live in my team page the other day um, and I recommended the book, How to Build Network Marketing Leaders. You guys, you've got to get back to these books. Like I know some of you guys are on here and you are seasoned, you know, top level presenters. And it's so important that we get back to these books that we used to read. And, and because it's so easy to just forget like, oh, I read that book. Like I read that book like five years ago, you guys. And I, it helped me build my business but I'm a different person than I was five years ago. And so if you've read that book before, I highly recommend reading it again, you guys, because you are a different person. Even if you read it last week, you know what I mean? Like, even if you read it like two months ago, you are a different person than you were two months ago today. You're a different person today. And you're going to take away so many different things from that book, you guys. Okay. So that book is a really huge staple. I've been reading it together with a bunch of girls on the team. And that book is a really big staple into building your business, you guys. But there's another book out there called, um, it starts with why by Simon Sinek. And it's a really amazing book, you guys, that teaches you how to really, there's another one by John Maxwell as well. Um, and it's like, put your dreams to the test, I think it's called. Um, and those are two really good books because it's so true. Like everything that she said is so true. You have got to know why you're doing this. You've got to know what gets you out of bed in the morning. You guys, if I didn't know what got me out of bed every morning, if I didn't know why I wanted to have success, I would nap all day long. And I would just like, I would allow the freaking zombie momhood of having four kids and two 10 month old babies to consume me. You guys, like it would consume my soul and I would literally probably just mope around and just cry all day long and just, and just have like a pity party because it's so freaking hard. You guys, it's so freaking hard. Life is so hard sometimes, but you know what? When you know why you're getting out of bed in the morning, when you know why you're not going to lay in bed all day, when you know why, you know, you've got to show up every day and do those things that you don't want to do, do those things that scare you so bad. When you know why it gets so much easier, especially when you drink caffeine and know why, you know what I mean? So you guys, you got to get those books. Okay. And I know that I've given you these, are, this is three books now that I've given you guys. If you guys are on my team, this is three books that I've given you in the past, you know, couple of days, but you know what? This is a journey. This is a journey. It's a growth journey. It's a growth process. You guys, it is 100% a journey. And I don't know if you picked this up from Jennifer, like I did, but I picked up that she trusts the process. She trusts the process. You guys, it is a process. You are going to get knocked down so many times. This girl, Jennifer O'Neill, you guys has been through so much stuff. She's been through so much crap. Everything that is going to test her, that was going to test her has tested her. Everything that was going to knock her down has knocked her down. Everything in the world that could have come her way to try to stop her came her way to try and stop her. Did she stop? No, she just spoke on this zoom and taught us how to keep going. Life is hard, you guys. Things are always going to happen. A girl joined my team the other day and she said to me, she goes, she, it took her a while to respond to me after I initially like welcomed her to my team and I sent her my initial messages and everything. And I said, I, and I said, Hey girl, like, are you ready to get started? You haven't read my messages. Like, are you serious about this? Do you want to build a business or what? She goes, yeah, life has just been really crazy the past few days. And I was a presenter before and you know, I'm not going to let that happen to me again. Like this, that this happened. My, my kid got sick and this family member got sick and this thing happened and that thing happened. She goes, I just really need you to put, I just really need somebody to push me. And that's why I joined your team. And I said, I was honest with her. I said, listen, girl, I said, something's going to happen again. Something's going to happen again. Somebody else is going to get sick. Some, you're going to go through heartache. Heartbreak is going to happen. Something bad's going to happen in life. That's going to knock you down. And you're going to want to use it as an excuse again to give up. We all go through stuff. You guys, we all have things that happen. We all have things that knock us down and that try to test us. And so I said to her, I said, it's going to happen again and it's going to suck again. And you're going to want to give up again. I said, so instead of giving up, instead of going through that, instead of, instead of wanting to quit, instead of doing all that, why don't you instead think right now for me, what's going to keep you going on the day that that bad thing happens? You've got a plan for that because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And you have got to know why you're doing this. Just like Jennifer said. Okay. And then I said to her, I'm not going to push you. I don't have time to push you. I don't have time to make you want something. I don't have time to push you and force you to want something that you don't want. I don't have time to come to you and be in your ear and say, listen, girlfriend, you've got to get up. You've got to do this thing. I don't have time for that. I said, I'm trying to build leaders here. 
And leaders, they don't need me in their ear all the time. Leaders don't need me to tell them to get up. Leaders don't need me to be in their ear and to be pushing them all the time. I've got to push myself. I've got to push myself. I don't have time to push you. I said, so I need you to figure out why you're here. What drew you back to this business the second time? And how to avoid quitting like you did the first time? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when that happens again? So you guys need to come up with your plan too, because how many of you guys are going through something right now that's making you not want to, that's making you not want to do this. You guys, 2020, you guys had all these goals, right? You guys were like, oh, 2020, I'm going to do this. I'm going to freaking rock my business. January 1st, 2020, let's go. January 2nd, 2020 rolls around. You're done. You're done. You forgot your goal. It's done. It's not about a new year. It's not about, you know, 2020, you guys. It's not about a new decade. It's not about any of that stuff. It's about your future. It's about the, the next hour from now. It's about your legacy. It's about your family. It's about your future self, you guys. Okay? That's what it's about. It's not about setting a goal for the new year. Okay? You guys, it's not about that. It's about showing up every single day and putting one foot in front of the other. It's about conquering the craziness that's going on in your life. It's about getting up when you want to freaking just sit down and never get back up. Y'all, I locked myself in my pantry the other day and just cried in a dark room by myself. Okay? Screaming babies, arguing kids, like no one here to help me, nobody here to take that load off of my shoulders, you guys. And I locked myself in the pantry and I cried. You ever done that before? It's hard. But you know what, you guys? I just cried. I recognized I was in my pantry crying. I stood up after I had my moment and I put one foot in front of the other. I took a deep breath and I said, nobody's going to do this for me. Nobody's going to pay my bills. Nobody's going to freaking get these babies to stop crying. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to do the things that need to get done around here. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. So I got up and I put one foot in front of the other, you guys. And I told myself, I've got this because I do. And I'm not going to die. It's going to suck. And probably two years from now, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss that moment where I locked myself in the pantry, you know? And so you guys, listen, life is hard. Things get hard. You guys, like we're going to have moments where we break down, but I want you guys to give yourself more credit for not staying down because if you're here right now, you got back up. If you're here right now, you got back up. You didn't stay down. Stop being so hard on yourself, you guys. Figure out why you're doing this. Go get those books. Write it down, you guys. Come up with your emergency game plan. What is your emergency plan for when those bad days happen? When you want to go lock yourself in the pantry and never come back out, you guys. What is your plan to get out of the pantry? How are you going to get out of the pantry and keep going, you guys? What are you going to do? You've got to come up with a plan. What are you going to tell yourself, okay? What are you going to do to get out of there? Because the whole is going to happen. You are the only person that can pull you out of that. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know who Andy Frisella is, um, but I follow him on Instagram and I'm thinking about starting his 75 hard challenge. And it's going to really test your mindset and everything like that. But he made a post the other day and it was like raw truth. And if you guys are like, if you guys don't like the truth, if you guys don't like honesty, if you guys don't like, you know, if you guys don't like that stuff, please don't go read this post. But there's a post that he made and he basically says like, listen, nobody's going to look out for you, but you, nobody's going to take care of you, but you, nobody is going to freaking care about about your problems, but you, people might say that they care about what you're going through. People might say this stuff, but they don't care because you got all, all you've got is you yourself and you, you guys, you've got to get up and you've got to take care of you. You've got to take care of your kids. You've got to do these things. You can't depend on anyone, but you. Okay. You guys. So I really encourage you guys to just Take a look in the mirror and understand that you are so worthy. You are so freaking incredible. You are so smart. You are so capable. All you got to do is figure out why you need this and why you're not going to stop. You got to figure out why. Okay. It's hard and it's not going to happen overnight. You guys figuring out why doesn't happen overnight. 
but it's one of the most important steps in your process that you could figure out. Some days I forget why. Some days I even question, like, do I really even know why I'm doing this? That's how you know you don't really know. And if I don't even really know that, there's no way that a lot of you guys even really know that. So dig deep and let's figure out why. Let's get to personal development, you guys, and let's just go crazy. Just because you missed a few days, just because you slacked a little bit, doesn't mean you give up completely. It's only the freaking sixth. So let's figure out why. Let's believe in ourselves, you guys. Let's lock arms together and let's freaking make amazing things happen because we are a freaking family here, you guys. Even if you're not on the same team with someone, we are a family here. We've got each other's backs, you guys, and we are a family. And this is what we do. Kennedy. You know what you don't do is you don't bang your head on my freaking doors. <laughs> um, Kennedy, please go upstairs. I'll be, up, I'll be up in a minute, okay? Please go upstairs. I'll be up in a minute. And please get off of your hoverboard. Okay, well, you can walk it upstairs with your legs. Um, <laughs> we are a family, you guys, okay? And we are in this together, you guys, okay? So lock arms with someone. Find somebody to freaking hold accountable. Find somebody to push Okay. Find someone to challenge yourself with, you know what I mean? But more importantly, you guys like go out there and be vulnerable. Tell your story, tell people why you're doing this, tell people why you're never going to stop showing up and then hold yourself accountable and actually show up, actually put it out there, you guys. Okay. Because you deserve this. Every single one of you guys deserves this. Every single one of you guys deserves this. Okay. So if you guys were here tonight, I'm so grateful. Thank you for being here and helping us hit hundred people. Um, thank you, Jennifer O'Neill for putting your heart on your, on the line there. Like I could tell that you were, you were really nervous and you were, you were like scared to speak that truth, but you did it and you did it for, you did it for everyone here. You did it to serve people. You did it to help people and you did amazing girlfriend. And I'm so grateful that you shared that with us today. So can we all just tell, um, Jennifer, how grateful we are, you guys, for her sharing her heart with us today and for being here with us today and let's give ourselves like a thank you everyone because like we came together to make this happen um if you guys don't know we, don't, we won't do these unless there's a hundred people and we came together and we made it happen you guys okay and so that's something that we all came together to do and i love you guys um to the moon and freaking back i'm so proud of you for everything that you've done you all have something amazing to celebrate whether you know it or not you've got something incredible to celebrate and you deserve to give yourself more credit you guys you deserve to give yourself more credit so i love you guys no matter where you are in your journey keep going trust the process process and love harder you guys and share your story more often and dig deeper to figure out why you're doing this okay you guys Mwah. i love you have the best night ever thanks again jennifer you're amazing and we'll see you guys next time okay next monday 9 p.m eastern standard time every single week you guys bye